Okay, so it's like minus one Celsius right now where I live. So I may sound a little bit sick or I may shiver here and there in the video because it is kind of cold, let me tell you. But yeah, with that being said, today I'm going to be building racing canes in Bloxbury. As you can see, I don't have a ton of money. Like, I have the heater and everything, I have the AC on, and that is not even helping. Well, it is helping a little bit, but like, it is so cold right here. And I live kind of near a mountain, so it feels colder even. Okay, what do I want to do with this racing? I think I want to have like a parking lot on this right side. So, I definitely want to have a drive through as well. I want it to look like very American, you know? I think this is going to be the space for the drive through window. I'm kind of basing it off a picture that I saw, but I'm obviously going to build it differently. I think I'm going to do this. So the kitchen is going to be tucked here in the back, I think. We can have the bathrooms definitely right here. Oh, and we can have like an employee somewhere over here. This could be an extension of the kitchen though. I feel like it is kind of small. So yeah, I'm going to put like a floor over here so the employees can access the kitchen from this side of the restaurant. Okay, I'm definitely going to be using these commercial doors. I don't even know why I want to build this. I was like, let's just build a restaurant, which is something that I don't often do. But like for some reason, I just wanted to build Racing Cane so badly. And hopefully, I want to upload like the logo type of the restaurant so I can put it over here. Hopefully Roblox is gonna is gonna let me upload that because I've tried a few times to upload decal. I tried to upload I think it was a McDonald's decal or like a Burger King decal. I don't even remember, but I never like uploaded correctly. I don't even know what happened. I don't know if it was for like a copyright issue or something. But yeah, like it never let me. Okay, I like to do this on every entryway of of the restaurant to do kind of like a taller section so you can notice it better. My god, I'm just a little bit scared about the money because I feel like we're gonna spend a lot on this. My god, and since I'm currently building like my apartment complex, if you haven't seen the video, go watch it. It's kind of cool. I built like an apartment complex in Bloxburg and I'm basically gonna decorate it all. But like I spend a lot of money on that. And the bad part of is that I cannot delete it. Like usually whenever I'm running out of money, I just go back to old buildings and delete them. <laughs> I really don't care. Like I already have the videos, you know? I think I do have a few special plots that I've over the past couple years. But like other than that, I don't think I save my buildings in this game. So yeah, yeah. So yeah I usually do that. But right now I don't have any plot. Because I deleted the majority of my plots on the New Year's. So I could like have a fresh star, you know? But yeah, I think that was kind of a mistake. Okay, so I want to have like a uh, exterior dining area over here. I feel like the metal columns will look kind of cool with the style of the restaurant. I feel like Racing Canes uses like a very industrial kind of to the restaurants, kind of like a Buffalo Well Wings. It always remembers me of that, reminds me of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's going on with my vocabulary today? Because I think I'm going to put like these beams kind of around the... I don't know how this is going to look really, but if it looks bad, I will delete it. If it looks kind of good, I may leave it. Oh my god, that rhymed. Okay, I don't think it's that bad. I don't know if it makes sense to have that trim around the building. Now that I think about it, I may should have done it a little bit skinnier. I feel like I'm going to spend more than $70,000 in this restaurant. I don't even know why I chose to build this, honestly. Because we're, we're obviously spending more than that. Am I like that stupid to think I'm not going to spend more than $70,000 in this? Am I tied to Lulu? Okay, then that means this video is probably going to take a few days to at least record. Because I obviously need to walk he here in Bloxbury. And it's not like I have all my real life date to play this game. I mean, like whenever this video is done, you'll obviously see it uploaded in the channel. I'm currently recording this. When this video is gonna get uploaded. I also wanna have like a garden area here. Oh, we need... Yeah, because this is gonna be like an entry to the restaurant. What if actually it's gonna be better if I do a roof and make it a little bit taller so it looks like a sidewalk. And I'm gonna put it like all around the building. I don't even know how the street is gonna look. Maybe something like this. Okay, I like that curve. It just needs to be a little bit more open. Nah, nah. This looks more artificial so can i please get that shape but okay like that i'm gonna have like a beer and i don't know i don't know if this area right here is too much i hate how it looks like between this pathway and the driveway i like how this fence looks right there kind of covers up the space a little bit i think it's time we start painting our restaurant because then we're gonna struggle a little bit if we don't do it now so from what i can see they use like a really light color It'll, it's almost like grayish but it looks kind of yellowish as well. Yeah, so they use like wooden yellow or like this light yellow that looks almost like gray. 
and red. I also see red in there. So I'm gonna do black for the trims. Then the three of these, I don't know, like boxes are gonna be this color. Oh yeah, this one right here. You see it's a little bit yellow. I feel like to be lighter. Yeah, the shade is perfect. Okay, that's the perfect hint of yellow. Actually, yellow, what the heck? That is perfect. Okay, so yeah, the three of these kind of structural pieces are gonna be this color. Now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna stick with the gray color. Okay, the, like the wooden color they're using is kind of orangey. It's not my jam, to be honest. I don't like orangey, but I'm gonna do this one. It's kind of similar. It's like not exactly the color, but it does look like this. We need some hints of red as well, because this is so far not looking like uh, racing canes, really. I feel like the red is definitely missing. Since I have like this short fence over here, it will look kind of weird, I think, if I put it again right there. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna get like a taller fence in the section. Yeah, that looks kind of cute, right? And more private. Okay, I'm gonna do the same garden area. Yeah, we basically should repeat like um sidewalk. Okay, I'm also gonna try and make this parking lot like not as perfect. I don't even know for how long I've been working on this exterior but we should move it up a bit. I think that's not perfect. I'm gonna also try and do custom tree. Why do I chose like a very with only $70,000? It's been like two days since I started building this racing canes and as you can see, I haven't finished it. So let's keep building. I didn't finish it because of my money. As you can see, I have a little bit more money now, but like two days ago, I only had like literally like $10 in my in my Bloxburg bank account. My God, imagine if we had a bank in this game, it would be kind of cool. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have the door for the bathroom right here. I don't like it. It's like very exposed to the public. Oh, what if I close this off and make like a little, I don't know, like entryway. Let's have a little opening over here just so the entryway is a little bit less exposed. Because imagine if you were eating, I don't know, like some chicken tenders, fry some biscuits, and you suddenly see or like smell the bathroom. No, thank you. And it actually gives us a lot more space for, for a row of cabinets over here. So I think I'm gonna have like the main, I don't even know how to call it, a uh, register area over here. It's gonna be kind of closed stuff, but we still have the, the kitchen door over here. We probably should have another door in here, but I don't think we have any space for it because we already have the bathroom over here. It's kind of taking space from the kitchen. So I think that's gonna be the kitchen. I'm gonna use these counters, these metal counters, these look kind of commercial. I always struggle with commercial kitchens. Like, I can never make a realistic commercial kitchen. Wait, this would be perfect. All of these items, like all of these commercial items, would be perfect to use in this building. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to use them because I'm a really low level on my cooking. Okay, I'm gonna have the fridge over here. I wanted to have like a walk in freezer. Actually, now that I think about it, could have the fridge in here and have kind of like the same. Oh no, because we in fact have a freezer door, which that's perfect. Also, we camp and kitchen island in here. Also, I'm gonna do like the kitchen menus with these TVs. I feel like they work so well for that purpose. I'm gonna probably have like two right there in the middle. Oh, also, we need some counters for like the drive through windows. I think they're okay. I'm gonna put two different types of counters just so I can see the difference between both. I appreciate that we have a drive through window on this. Don't get me wrong, but it's kind of oh, uh, it looks kind of outdated, you know. We need a modern version of this window. So I think here's all well, your order and then like this other window is gonna be where you pick up your order. Brick texture would go really nice with this building, but I don't know about the texture we should use. I mean the color, I like this white color, but I wanna have a more brownish. The bad thing about this texture is that you cannot like individually change of the bricks themselves. Like it's usually the whole wall is gonna be the same color even though it has the texture. It's kind of annoying because I want to have like different shades. Oh, this gray one, it's almost pink. As you can see, it has like a pink undertone, but it looks kind of cool. I think I'm gonna do this color. Looks like the dark stone gray color, but it's not that color. Okay, so I'm gonna have the kitchen there. Now, what about the floors? What texture am I gonna put on these floors? Oh my God, now that I think about it, I should also build the chilies here in Bloxburg someday. If you think that would be a good idea, leave it in the comment. Okay, now I was thinking we can do a tiling for the floor or maybe the same wood we did on the exterior. I know it's not very realistic for restaurants to have like wooden floors, but hey, it's Bloxburg. I always say that it's like, screw it. Let's do whatever looks better. It doesn't have to be realistic necessarily. I do like this kitchen, but oh my god, I don't like how the whole cooking area exposed to the public. Definitely gotta start laying out my restaurants better, decorate them more realistically. 
Oh, I don't think it's gonna fit. Okay, the legs of these toes are gonna be kind of colliding with each other. But it's okay, I like this hood. I'm gonna put some cabinets on this wall. Now that we have kind of like this hood, we can put some cabinets. This one has to be like in the wall. Okay, I'm gonna come back to the kitchen later. Um, what I'm gonna do now is decorate this bathroom, which it doesn't have to be that decorated. We can put like the basics because it's a restroom bathroom. Oh, we have opportunity to add a window. Something I usually never do in my restroom bathrooms. The, the possibility of adding one of these. Because usually my bathrooms are like in the middle of the building, so they're there's no space for, for a window. Okay, I'm gonna use this same cabinet. I wanna have like a very large set of counters. The same counter but with the sink, that's perfect. I always struggle with decorating bathrooms because they're obviously very tight spaces. So it's like a little bit annoying because of the camera. Also the space between the door and the actual restaurant are perfect for these soda fountains. Wait. Why do I have like two of these? I don't remember buying two soda fountains. There's like a ton of commercial items. Okay, for like tables and that kind of jazz. I'm gonna put this little divider in the middle. Maybe it should be red. Oh yeah. Actually, what I'm gonna do is take copy the same logo that I used for the outside. Okay, I'm gonna resize this. Make it a little bit smaller. Should be this height. I think I'm gonna do it not that tall. Okay, so there's that. Now that I think about it, I feel like it would make more sense to have the counters and the cabinets over here. But we can still have a table or something. But yeah, this whole space, tables and chairs over here. And we do have these benches, very commercial looking. So I think I'm gonna use them. They're definitely not the size that I'm looking for. Almost perfect, but as you can see, there's a little gap at the end of, of the couch. But it's fine, I guess. I mean, it doesn't bother me that much. Oh, a thing that I also want to do with this space is like some sort of structure here on top like on the roof with some metal beam feel like that would look kind of industrial and it goes along with the whole theme of this restaurant okay i'm gonna have red as an accent for the couches because i feel like if we put it the tables as well it's gonna be a little bit overwhelming okay i'm gonna have those tables like that oh and then we can feed tables here in the middle i don't know now that i think about it it's kind of symmetrical and boring but I think it's the best that I can, maybe not that you could do, because I bet that a lot of you would decorate this restroom better than I'm doing it. Yeah, I think like the whole structure thing that I want to do is gonna make this place look different. The main reason my restaurant doesn't look like a realistic restaurant, it's that I think that there is a lot of windows. And usually on restaurants, there's like very few windows. Well, in some of them, there are a lot of windows. But I feel like for commercial restaurants, there's like decorations on the wall instead of windows. So like a lot of random posters and that kind of jazz. Oh my god, why is this beam? Like I swear to god, it's not placing correctly. Is it like this thing on the wall that is making it move? Okay, this looks kind of lame. But like on the best way possible. I know it's like I'm contradicting myself by saying that. But I don't know, I thought about it differently. And it does look kind of lame. We should get like some fancy lighting in here, like some chandeliers or something. Or at least like one of these commercial hanging lights. Don't know where they're located at. I'm gonna get like... This is making me see that the beams are... Yeah, it's definitely not centered at all. Then also we need some light for these tables. Honestly, I feel like that's it. I think I'm just gonna add a few more decorations. Just a ketchup bottle and a mustard bottle. Ketchup, ketchup. I think like every single table is gonna have... But then we can also put like another set of TVs. Mm, well, I don't know because I don't like how it's covering up these other TVs. I feel like it makes sense to have those over there. So yeah, I'm leaving it there. And okay, I don't even know if I should decorate this place like very cluttered. I don't think it's gonna be a great idea. I'm just gonna put like some more decoration. I don't know, maybe some plants and stuff. And I'm gonna give you a tour of this racing canes. Wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot about the drive through we have like a weird sidewalk here and we're obviously not gonna drive on it with our cars. I think I'm gonna put like the menu here where the fence is. Oh my god, now that I think about it also, the window is too far away from... But like, oh my, I don't really care about it. Like yeah, just get out of your car and grab your food, you know. Okay, I'm gonna have that over there. And I've seen a lot of drive throughs They have like a little wall and they also have like a roof. So kind of a little... But I don't think it's gonna be possible for us to do that on this restaurant because this is a basic shape and like not an actual wall. Okay, this one definitely doesn't work because it's too low on the wall. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna put like a painting 
and that's it because it's taking a lot of time to do this and this is my raising canes oh my god it ended up costing two hundred thousand dollars i think it's like my most expensive <laughs> build up to date but yeah this is the restaurant as you can see it's pretty basic but at the same time i love this structure it looks so realistic i feel like this could definitely be built in real life I mean, the layout of it is not the best, especially the drive through layout, like, what the heck. This is not even from a Racing Canes menu, but it's okay, it still has chicken on it. They sell chicken on Racing Canes. But yeah, this is the drive through it's kind of cute. Over here, we have the parking lot, three entryways in this restaurant. So we have one on the front and two on the sides of the building. We have some tables outside. There is a lot of sitting area on this restaurant, actually. And here's the interior, really simple as well, but I love how clean it looks. Like, it's not cluttered at all. I've... I'm um, the, these beams are growing on me. They do look kind of cute. Yeah, we have the tables. I love the views as well. Like, I always try and get trees all around my buildings just so from the windows you can see them. Yeah, we have like a little divider in the middle with the logo. Here we have some chairs for if you want to sit or something. And then here's the door for the bathroom. So in the bathroom, it's pretty basic as well. Just this tiny bathroom. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, on both of the entryways on the sides, we have some trash cans and like the fountain soda. So it's kind of cool.